basahin, intindihin, madaling sagutin. Yan ang bukang bibig ni Atty. Ben Laja sa lahat ng di nakakasagot sa klase niya. In this video, I'll share with you three steps to instantly elevate your understanding of codal provisions. Hi, my name is Lex and welcome to Lex in Motion. In this channel, I'll be helping you build your competence, confidence, and capability in law school. Start today by clicking the subscribe button and then the bell icon. Reading codal provisions should be easy. We law students have been doing it for years. Pero mas madalas, dumadaan lang yung letters at wala tayong naiintindihan. So let's apply at Ornila just three steps on how to read and understand codal provisions. Step 1. Basahin. Get an overview of the law. What is the provision all about? Tignan mo kung saan siya nakasulat. Under what title, under what subject. Get as many context clues as you can. Try to get a general idea of what the law is all about. Step 2. Intindihin. After reading the law, the next step is to break it down to all its individual parts. Isipin mo na lang Lego blocks yan. And we're trying to reverse engineer the parts. What is the law trying to teach you? Is it a process, a concept, a rule or definition? Does it impose a duty o sadyang may pinagbabawal lang? Sa second step, hahanapin natin yung importanting words and phrases. Look for conjunctions such as and, or, and if. Look for the words connected to provided and unless. This is usually where the law provides the requisites or exceptions. Step 3 is all about finding the logical connections between the various ideas you've collected from steps 1 and 2. The goal of step 3 is to restate the law in your own words. We're going to take the individual parts and assemble them back together. Kapag kaya mo na siyang ipaliwanag sa sarili mo, then you'll know you've understood the provision. Hindi na lang siya dumaan sa mata mo. Step 3 is also about finding connections, correlations, and anticipating the possible questions from your professor. Let's try an example from the New Civil Code. Article 886 of the New Civil Code. Legitim is that part of the testator's property which he cannot dispose of because the law has reserved it for certain heirs, who are therefore called compulsory heirs. Step 2. Intindihin. After reading the law, let's classify it. Is it a concept, a definition? Is it a prohibition? Is it a guide to construction? Is it a process? Is it a rule? Clearly, the law is telling us about legitims. It is found at the beginning of Section 5 of the chapter on wills and succession. Therefore, it is introducing us to a concept. Part of understanding any provision is looking for the keywords and phrases. Let's identify them. Keywords here are legitimate, part, testator's property, cannot dispose, mukhang importante yan, and compulsory heirs, law, has reserved. Now that we know the keywords and phrases, it's time to find the logical connection between them. Let's try to put the words back together. From our reading, we now find that legitim is a portion kasi sabi dito part. Bahagi ng pagmamayari ng testator, testator's property. Cannot dispose, meaning it is a portion, part, or bahagi which a testator cannot give away. Law has reserved it, meaning ang batas na ang may sabi, bawal na siyang galawin. Compulsory heirs, meaning sila ang tao na makakatanggap nito. They are the recipients, beneficiaries, and in the case of succession, heirs ang tawag sa kanila. Step 3. Madaling sagutin. The goal of this step is to restate the law in your own words, then connect it to other provisions and anticipate questions. 
let's try it with our example. Legitime is the portion, part o bahagi, ng ari-arian ng testator that is given to certain persons called compulsory heirs. It cannot be given by the testator because the law reserves it for certain persons. Ang mga posibleng itanong ni Din Navarro ay 1. Who are compulsory heirs? 2. If the legitimate is the portion, how much of the testator's property is reserved? 3. Why is there a law on legitimes? Now to answer these questions, you will have to move forward from Article 886. Basahin, intindihin, madaling sagutin. It's a slow process. Pero bibilis ka din. I have created two more examples here and here. I'll also link to them below so you can understand the process better. Share this video with your friends to help them step up their law school game. And I'll see you in the next video.